Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here at 8th and D, where we've got a stage set up. We got some tables. We got some booths with some swag. Got some sound booth people. Wanted to come out here earlier when it's cool and watch it, but they were still busy setting up. Looks like we've got a sunglasses hut right here. Not sure what this is yet. Over here they've got uh, different types of coffee mugs and swag. Got a Good Beginnings and Harmony Medical Clinic and Resource Center here. Looks like hats and jewelry. Got a prayer tent. Yuba Environmental Sciences has a booth. Oh, looks like a Beanie Baby booth. Got some butterfly art and stuff. Not exactly sure what this is, but we got Victory Ministry Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, 49ers hat and Day of the Dead stuff. Right here we got leaf filter gutters. Oh, it's Trump 2024 Republican Central Committee wagon. It's important to come down here and support the Republicans, especially in light of what happened to President Trump. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Rebecca. How are you ladies yeah, doing today? Fight, fight. Amen. Amen. Oh, All right, yeah, we're going to see us at the Peach Festival, everybody. Come support them. Come support Trump. Come support the Republicans. Look at all this great swag in here. That's I'll right. tell you, I don't remember any other Central Committee having this level of swag in the history of uh, me politicking around here. Good job, ladies. I like the Trump uh, wagon and Thank everything. You. Oh, that's Super great. Cool. Only $5. Not bad at all. I'm definitely getting one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> all right, folks. Oh, my goodness. We got a Trump. What are those called? Not bobbleheads. Oh, yeah, bobble they are bobbleheads. Oh, yeah, that's bracelets. good. Bracelets. Bracelets. Not take bad America at all. Great or take America back. Amen. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and pause this real quick and I'm going to get some swag. I definitely need the swag, especially close to home where I can drop it off easy. Okay. So we don't know what they're doing yet. We got cotton candy and nachos and corn dogs here right out my door along with ice cream. Looks like there's a good selection of the food vending going on here. Cousin's Main Lobster. I hear a lot of people really enjoy that. The Bubble Hut, they got desserts and stuff. We're gonna pause it. All right, so we got this one. We got Fight. Great shirt in the making. Of course, the iconic picture. And then we've got Nothing Can Stop What's Coming. That's right. That is right. The 2025 initiative is coming. We are going to deport these people, get jobs back on track and take care of business. Don't buy into the liberal woke agenda, you know? Look, all these people came in here, they've been murdering women and children, raping them. You know, there's other issues with the job market being shitty already. We don't need this shit. I'm sorry, these people should come here legally. Some of my family did that, they came here legally the correct way, you know? A lot of us are immigrants here, but we came in the right way. And we weren't letting in, you know, the presidents weren't crazy like Biden to let in a bunch of people. So I'm done with the political spiel. God bless you. I'll pick it up in a second. All right. So here we've got the gyro people. I think they were here last time. Oh, wait. Never mind. This isn't the gyro people. This is Mexican food. Well, it looks good. We got the classic rosy snow business. They uh, are often out at the Edgewater Circle Park. Veterans Park, I think it's called out there. We've got something with refrigeration and napkins. We've got more Mickey Mouse and mug swag. Oh, Mary's Little Fire will be here. Adventist Health is there. Yeah, little boutique out of Woodland here. By County Ambulance. 
got Joe Bell Incorporated, handmade wood carvings, those are pretty cool. Got Christian School, Moria, Peachtree Health. Looks like we got some stickers and stuff at this one. I don't know what's in that yet, folks. I can't tell you. Looks like right here we got keychains and some t shirts. Looks like we got Yuba Water Agency booth over here. Have to come back. Maybe we'll find John Messick or Charlie or some one of our great servants here and uh, ask him some water questions, levy questions. We got Churro Mobile. What else do we have here? It looks like we've got custom design uh, graphic stuff. We've got some swag, Pokemon stuff. Here we've got Kona Ice. What is that? Snow, snow cones in a cup. Not sure what's in the patriotic booth here. And we got uh, some stuff here. Looks like they got fake flowers and some Beanie Baby type of stuff and uh, jewelry. Not bad at all. What are you selling here, sir? Honey. Honey? Yeah. And we're gonna have honey right here. Come get your local. Are you local? Yep. A local organic raw honey here. We got solar heating and air. Maybe your air conditioner's on the blank. You need some information. Looks like we got a tea shop here. Share tea. Oh, look at all those flavors. Yum. We got tattoos on the go. Queen of Hearts tattoos and piercings. Come get your uh, what cold knots pierced? A uh, cold neck, neck wraps. A hot seller. How much? How much are they? The neck wraps are. Eight, are they eight or seven? Hold on. Hold on. We'll get either seven or eight seven bucks. Or They'll eight get back to you. So Show up. Ten dollars. Less than ten. Less than ten dollars. That's the way we like it. We got the Army National Guard here. Ranch View jerky. Oh, we're coming back here. The dogs will kick my butt if I don't come back here and get some. That's right. That's right. We got sunglasses here frozen lemonade you know on a hot day it's not actually too bad but i work outside folks you know look at the the farmer's tan there so oh we got plushies i think that's what these things are called right plushies all sorts of things oh water gun get the kids squirting people you know you need that oh for the ladies you got all these sundresses hippie tie-dye stuff that's pretty cool. Gonna have to stop by and check that out. Oh, here they've got old milk jugs and other containers. That's pretty neat. Oh, they've used a plasma coater to decorate them. He even makes that even neater. 50 gallon drums. All right, we're gonna go ahead and walk the food court. We've got iced tea, cocos fruit smoothies. We got Korean teriyaki, classic kettle corn. You know, I'll be getting some of that. We've got world famous horn dogs. I don't see slinging wieners. There's Serenos. Looks like Mexican food probably based on the way it's painted. And right here we've got Italian ice and ice cream bars. Not bad folks, got a decent core food court. I don't even think we're done showing that off. Okay. We got Stevens, Stevens Farmhouse. That's what that says. You know them. They got the pies year round over on Highway 99 outside of Yuba City, or maybe it is Yuba City. Looks like we got backpacks and more plushies. I'm gonna go ahead and walk over. We got people setting up and tying down. Not great for content. Here we've got fudging around. Oh, we got fudge here. That's pretty cool. Here we've got Trump swag, it looks like. Pretty neat. We got, well, yeah, looks like the tees and stuff. All right, so here's an example of one of the t-shirts right here with the iconic fight. They were gracious enough to take Charlie Matthews cards. Maybe they'll teach you a little bit about them. Republican Central Committee's booth did that also. Thank God for them. 
So when will you guys officially be open? Um, when the event starts. When the event starts. Starts For, at five. Starts at five. So you guys can beat four. some of this heat. Four. 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 Starts at four. You have consensus. It starts at four. I'm going to come back here. I want to get this uh, black fight t-shirt. Uh, I do know they carry 3XL sizes here. You know, they got good stuff at Republican Central Committee. I'm going to go back and get the flag, but they got a little bit different stuff at each one. Stop by both, see what they got. Okay, what are you ladies selling here? Um, we are an organic lavender, French lavender, Ooh. sponge farm and corning. Very nice. So we have all kinds of products, including culinary lavender products. It smells good, and remember, folks, lavender is great for headaches, migraines especially. You put a little under your nose, and it, it's amazing, amazing stuff. So what? Lots. What makes French lavender different than uh, other lavender? Um, the variety that's grown mostly here in the U.S. commercially is one called Rosso. Okay. Um, Not a very a appealing of, name, is it? Not really, <laughs> but it has camphor as part of its chemical makeup. Okay. So, when you smell the essential oil, you smell, it smells kind of medicinal. Right. Fresh lavender has no camper. Yeah, it it's smells. It's straight floral. It, it does. It smells more floral. Yeah, yeah it smells hot, great. Soft, more floral. Yeah. And you guys are selling the essential oils also, or just the we compounds do. you make? Essential oils. Um, we have a roller that we have another variety on the farm called Thomas. Very it's good. It's actually a musk perfume lavender. Hmm. So we infuse the French lavender with it. Right. That. So if somebody wanted to infuse their own cannabis topical and add some lavender oil, they could get the lavender oil concentrate from you guys then. If they so choose to. If they so chose to. Plus you guys have your own great compounds if they don't know how to do that stuff. Maybe they're not a holistic healing individual like ourselves, you know. Obviously you ladies know more than more than me, but it smells delicious over yeah, here. We got a, this is just a small representation of what we have on the farm. Oh where's your where's your you said your farm's in Corning? You're in Corning. Yeah, yeah, in Corning. Just what? off of South Avenue um, on Columbia Avenue. Can, you can actually go onto Google Maps and type in Moonbeam Farm and we'll come right up. Well, very good. Moonbeam Farm. I like it, ladies. Okay, thank, thank you for you. coming out and supporting the Peach Festival. Thank you so much. Thank you, yep, thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, Dee Dee, good to see you. <laughs> Hold on, let me pause it. I got to talk to Dee Dee here, formerly of Sapphire Marketing, helping out. I think she still does a little work. Yeah. Some great okay. work in the community. Okay, looks like we got more sundresses here. We got quinchies. Looks like Quinchy lemonade. Quinchies. Yep, amen. Looks good. Looks good. Opens at 4 p.m. here. Here we've got the uh, prisms and orbs and some jewelry. Pretty neat, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we want to highlight the businesses down here. This is uh, one of the party rental places. We've got Clockwork Games. Uh, I'm not exactly familiar with that one. I've got to be honest, I uh, drive down here more often than I walk in the summer. In the winter, I'm knowing everything. So right here we've got dried freeze, can freeze dried candy, Niner swag, other stuff. This is the uh, toys, comic books, and collectibles. Pretty cool place, you know, all kinds of nifty stuff. Sullivan Saddlery which uh, is no longer Sullivan. Sorry, folks, I had a memory lapse. Started to get baked in the sun, brain-wise. This is a pretty cool, like, we call it the flea market store. They got, like, clothes and t-shirts galore and all kinds of stuff. Over here, we've got handbags. Looks like we've got good preserved peaches. Peach cobbler. Oh, this is the Sodaro, uh, the Sodaro Orchards uh, booth. Oh, here's the Sodaro Orchards booth. So this must be a different Sodaro. Big family. We got the Q93 one. Oh, wow. What's this going to be? You don't see one of these can ham trailers very often. Ashley Hernandez for mayor. The mayor looks like she's going to be serving energy drinks and coffee right here next to the Sodaro Orchards peach stand, which you know I'm going to come hit that up. Okay, let's go hit this other food court. If you guys haven't figured it out, these little outcroppings on the uh, east side. Looks like this is an MJ USD tent when it's ready. The outcroppings on the uh, east side uh, number streets are food court. We've got Dippin' Dots going in here. 
we got Sweet Escape. We got Flavor Rose Hot Dogs. We got Mediterranean food. Over here we've got Mexican drinks and tacos. Uh, Tri-tip sandwiches. Snow cones. Linda Fireman's Association. Thank you the firefighters, Marysville and Linda both, for making minimal damage uh, possible over on the uh, hotel fire. Looks like we got another rosy snow biz. I didn't realize they had two, that's pretty neat. Lemonade. We got gourmet hot dogs on a stick. Tortas and tacos. Looks like we got fresh fries. There goes Dennis Hawk on a scooter. That's pretty neat. We got cruising cones. Aka Taco. Right here we've got Dillon Farms. Peaches and tomatoes, all kinds of stuff there. We got Dina Bobo, looks like uh, Slurpee like drinks. All of these businesses can really use your help ladies and gentlemen you know lots of antiques and collectibles stuff for your house we got the brick we've got uh chicks or cheeks i don't know we got more tables and another stage i gotta switch hands folks it's uh the old arms the left arm is getting tired here we've got uh looks like apartments coming soon is it to both of these lounge underneath and then one to two bedroom apartments upstairs that's gonna be pretty neat here we've got palamas the old cigar box i didn't realize that was reopening how's it going got a roadie setting up unsung heroes of events here's the stage here we've got let's play zium don't know what that is folks here we've got NorCal bracelets or NorCal Child Evangelist Fellowship so looks like uh, they do good work and it looks like traffic is open this way also oh, it is a little different so they came to my end of the street to allow for better parking in and out over here with traffic and that's about it folks we've uh, walked the entire street we've got a uh, not a bad lineup this year. Come out and support the Peach Festival. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.